And I'm Marvin Bartlett. Kentucky gets a new report card on health care for women, and it's not making the grade. The Commonwealth Fund's 2024 scorecard on women's health and reproductive care looks at health outcomes, insurance coverage, and other measures across the U.S. Kylie Hill joins us in studio and dives deeper into the state of women's health care in Kentucky. Marvin, Andrea, by 2022, COVID-19 was waning, and then a trigger law banning most abor abortions went into effect following the fall of Roe v. Wade. Even before that, Kentucky was already among the worst performing states for women's health. The state of Kentucky, a mix of good and bad when it comes to women's health and reproductive care. In fact, it performed well in several areas, with just 6% of Kentucky women ages 19 to 64 lacking health insurance coverage. Kentucky ranks much higher on insurance coverage than a lot of states, particularly in the South. For example, Kentucky is a top-ranked state, number five on women getting affordable access to health care. Overall, Kentucky ranks in the bottom half of women's health and is 48th in deaths among women of reproductive age. These causes of death include many that are preventable and treatable with adequate health care like pregnancy and substance use. We do have abysmal uh, maternal and infant mortality rates in Kentucky. That is reported year after year, unfortunately. Also worth mentioning is the Momnibus Bill, which is aimed at reducing the Bluegrass State's maternal mortality rate, which is the second highest nationally. It established a special enrollment period because, believe it or not, as many individuals that may be eligible for Medicaid and Medicare, as many that are also on commercial or private health plans, there are still some women that at the time they become pregnant do not have health insurance. The bills on legislation, which was passed in 2022, which expanded Medicaid for the 12 month postpartum period, which is making a uh, huge difference in allowing women to build a continuum of care. Um, in that year following birth. And although leaders are happy Kentucky seems to be heading in the right direction, they would still like to see more done. So at the end of the day, every single Kentuckian, uh, regardless of where you live, who you are, the color of your skin, uh, how much money you make, every single Kentuckian deserves access to quality, affordable uh, health care. The data from the report was collected from 2021 and 2022. Health leaders say the information will only help when it comes to deciding how resources should be used. Kylie Hill, Fox 56 News. Thank you, Kylie.